The central limit theorem is the deepest thought ever thunk in statistics. Thank you to Paul Johnson. Here I have a distribution of sample means. This distribution was created by sampling an infinite population. I would choose samples of size 30. I would add up those individual scores and get a mean. The mean was represented by one of these blocks. Along my number line, I placed a block appropriate to the mean of the sample that I had just drawn. And what I discovered was that my distribution of sample means was normally distributed. That would imply that the underlying population, my infinite population, if I were to examine every member of this population, I would find that this population is normally distributed, which is why I have a normal distribution of sample means. But that is not the case. What would my distribution of sample means look like if my infinite population was bimodal, or if it was positively skewed, or if it was a rectangular or uniform distribution? Would the distribution of sample means likewise be skewed or rectangular? The central limit theorem establishes that no matter the shape of the underlying population distribution, the distribution of sample means from that population will always be normally distributed. If our population is bimodal, the distribution of sample means will be normal. If our population is skewed, the distribution of sample means will be normal. If our population is uniform, the distribution of sample means will be normal for any underlying population. Let's review those three distributions of sample means that I gave you from our original ICU data. We can see that as we increase the sample size, that the distribution of sample means becomes more normal. But now, I want to show you the shape of the infinite population from which we have been sampling. Are you ready? The population that we were sampling looks like this. That is a highly positively skewed distribution. The population value does not look anything like a normal curve. And yet, the distribution of sample means from that highly skewed population is and will always be a normal distribution. If the underlying population is normal, then obviously the distribution of sample means will likewise be normal. It has to be. However, we will get a normal distribution of sample means much more quickly or with smaller sample sizes if the underlying population is normal. If our underlying population is slightly skewed or if it is uniform, then the distribution of sample means will approach normality more quickly if we use a slightly larger sample size, say somewhere around 30. If our underlying population is highly positively skewed, or if it has outliers, then our distribution of sample means will approach normality for samples of, say, size 50 or more. One takeaway from this is, if you know that the dependent variable that you are measuring is normally distributed in the population, then you can rely on smaller sample sizes in a hypothesis test. However, if you are sure that the underlying population is skewed or uniform or kurtotic or bimodal, you will want to use larger sample sizes for your hypothesis tests. The central limit theorem shows us that no matter the shape of the underlying population, the distribution of sample means will always be a normal curve. That is the deepest thought ever thunk in statistics.